It's the truly shocking story of incest and betrayal that's been rocking headlines on DailyMail.com. And now, in a Daily Mail TV exclusive update, Alyssa Platel is back, courageously speaking out about the tragic events that have unfolded since her husband Stephen's incestuous relationship with their biological daughter, a relationship that led to murder and suicide. I really hope that she realized how truly young she still is and that she has the chance to start over, and I hope she can. Well wishes from a mother for a daughter entangled in an incestuous relationship with her biological father. But Alyssa Platel's hopes for the daughter she gave up for adoption would never be realized. Alyssa's ex-husband and father of their daughter, Katie, Steve Platel, would murder the 20-year-old, kill the baby he fathered with her, and take the life of Katie's adoptive father before turning the gun on himself. The horrific tragedy happening just nine months after Steve married Katie, and two and a half months after they were both arrested for incest. Hearing that he murdered her and the baby and the father, it took the wind out of me. I was just sobbing. I was weakened. I. I felt like I was falling apart. Alyssa, who spent two decades with Steve, says she is devastated by all of the carnage, but not at all surprised. He was verbally, emotionally, and mentally abusive throughout our 20 years together. He did do many violent things. He had nearly beaten to death one cat and did beat to death another cat. He would go long periods of time of not talking to his family. He was extremely isolated. Any friends he had were mostly online. He owned many guns, he couldn't keep a job. Alyssa says he even abused Katie as a baby before they gave her up for adoption. The adoption actually happened because I was worried about Katie's safety. She would cry and it would just instantly trigger him. He would curse, he would tell me to shut her the hell up. Uh, he would at times scoop her up and place her into a big cooler that we had. And then um, sometimes he would, he would just shut it tight. He knew it was possible she could be dead, and he was not phased by it. So I would finally go back there and open it and get her out. He was a special kind of scary to me, and I did not know how to get away from that without getting myself or Katie killed at an even younger age. Alyssa says she's heartbroken over all that's happened, but she won't be grieving Steve's suicide. To be quite frank, it's been a difficult roller coaster of emotions because I am so devastated by the loss of Katie and her adoptive dad and baby, but it is such a relief to know that I don't have to look over my shoulder anymore to see if Steve is there. I am thankful for the children that I have from him that I still have today. Outside of that, I did feel for a very long time that he was not a person that was very deserving to be on this earth anymore. As hard as it is to talk about all that's transpired, Alyssa says it's vital to get the truth out about incest and the devastating consequences that destroyed her family.